Um, one of my coaches, I asked a little bit about you in my there interview. You go. Um, she wants to know, she's um, getting ready for the summit um, bikini competition. Yes. Speaking. Um, she wants to know what your daily caloric intake is and how you um, kind of set that up for yourself um, while you were bikini queen. 2200 calories a day. Okay. Um, but here's the thing. Here's what I have to say. When I was a bikini competitor four years ago, I was working 14 hours a day on my feet. So I get up at four o'clock in the morning. My day started at 4 a.m. I was up and out of bed. I was with my first client by 5 a.m. and I never sat down. And when I'm with clients, I'm not working out with them, but I'm constantly like demoing the exercise. I'm picking up their weights, putting them away, handing them more weights. If you do that 15 hours a day, 14 hours a day, and taking care of a two-year-old, plus I was working out two to three hours a day, that, that was my routine for training. I needed quite a bit. I'd probably fall closer to 1800 now. Um, Cause like I said, I'm not as active and everybody automatically looks at me and they're like, but why aren't you in calorie range A? Which I would be. And again, there are exceptions to the rule. I have quite a bit of muscle on my body. In order to maintain my muscle, I have to eat. If I were to drop down to 1200 calories, first of all, Nobody would want to be around me. <laughs> raging B word. Okay. But I would also be this big around. Like I like it would just I have a hard time keeping muscle muscle mass on me. I'm not saying I have a hard time keeping weight on me. I have a hard time keeping muscle mass on me. So I have to eat to do that. So um if you're it it, it would just depend on what they're doing to train. If they're following like 21 day fix, fix extreme hammer and chisel. I would tell them to follow where they fall in the calorie brackets. Yeah. Yes. Your dynamic with Siggy is like so fun. <laughs> and Hammer and Chisel, what was it like working with him? For exactly what you see in the video. <laughs> is exactly what it's like. Um, no, it was amazing. And he really was, he's like my brother. Um, and we joke about it all the time. A lot of people don't know this. Sigi, well, first of all, he speaks four languages. English is the fourth, so that's fine, okay? <laughs> Yay, turn it off. No, I love him. And that's a super impressive, like, I, I'm lucky if I speak English well most days. So to speak four languages is very impressive. Sigi also has ADD, like he's diagnosed ADD. So, um, and he does talk about it. So trying to talk to somebody who speaks four languages, English being the fourth, and who has ADD, you're like, Siggy, are you home? Like, I need you to focus, I need you right here. Um, but it just makes it fun and entertaining, and we had a blast on set, and he liked to torture me with how sweaty he was, and I know, me all the time. Um, but we had a great time. We still do, every time we get to hang out, like at the events and stuff, it's great. It's, it's our own family. Yeah. Yeah, big brother. I haven't sat down to eat a meal in <laughs> ever. Um, literally, like literally, I waited tables through college. Um, I worked double shifts on the weekends. I worked after school at night. Like I never sat down to eat. And I'm lucky if my food's ever hot. In fact, more often than not, I don't even like my food hot anymore because I'm so used to eating it cold. Um, you get it in because it's fuel for your body. On those days where I was working 14 hour shifts and my clients were stacked back to back, it was like the running joke at, at the gym where I worked at Equinox. I had a cooler in the, in the break room, which is like right there, like workout floor, break room. So in between clients, I would literally be like, start stretching. And I'd run in there and I would inhale my food. I don't, who knows what it was, probably fish and asparagus. Uh, and I'd run back out on the floor and you know, shove a piece of gum in my mouth and get back to work. Because yes, when you're working like crazy, I get it, you're busy, but you can take a bite of food, you know, like it, again, it might not be heated up. It, it might not be the best tasting, but it's still fuel and you're going to do your job better. By the way, if you're a nurse and you're not eating, please don't come stick me with a needle. <laughs> like, I don't want you around me. Like if you're starving and cause whether you know you're crabby or not, you're crabby. Like whether you think you're focused or not, your focus is down because you don't have fuel in your body. So when you pack for those days that you're gonna be on a 12 hour shift, think about the things that are really easy to grab, like a banana or an apple or sliced up bell peppers or carrots, rotisserie chicken that you just pulled off the bone that you can 
you know, like it, maybe you're not getting a whole meal in, but maybe you're constantly just grabbing and getting a little bit in. That's better than not eating at all. Because if you don't eat, you're, you're just starving your metabolism and it is slowing down. And it does that anyways, the older we get. So don't give it more reason to do that. She's got, she's got, oh, challengers yeah. are on, are on oh, Facebook. Okay. What are they asking? Stephanie from uh, North Carolina would like to know. Uh, <laughs> number one, can we be friends? Number two, when are you gonna have more outfits in your apparel line? <laughs> yes, we can be friends. And the full apparel line releases at Summit. Very fun. There's.